Aries, welcome back. Okay, let's get into this. You got some strong energy to start out with. I pulled one card from another deck to see what your overall energy is for this spread. And we got the Eight of Rods, Eight of Wands. So, and one just hit the deck. So, what this is saying is you got some energy coming forward fast. This can be uh, communication. Um, a new creative idea, new in endeavor, emails, texting, busy, busy, busy. Okay, so what we're going to do is a full spread for you, and then I'm going to pause the video, clean everything up, and then do Aries through Pisces for you. This is for loosely connected or singles. We'll see what comes up. This is the energy that we will have for today. If it is not your story, don't try to make it fit. Check your other placements. Come back next week. Things are always changing with energy. Okay, Source Spirits Guides. What's Aries' situation right now? Okay. All right. So the current situation that you have, right? Oh, you're feeling like you've been manipulated by something. Definitely. The person that you're dealing with or the situation feels like there's been some juggling and could be potential wanting to come back or feelings of sorrow, but they're kind of bouncing back and forth about it. Meanwhile, you're over here. You want to come in fast and furious and say how you're feeling, but you're holding back, okay? You want truth. You want clarification. You want things to be just so. They're just not moving anytime soon because they need to make a decision and it could be a decision to try to come at you and to apologize for something. They're clearly looking at something between the two of you to make a judgment call as well, make a decision on what's best for them, but it's stable feelings. Emotional transformation. Okay, what's the recent past? Recent past, please, source. Recent past for Aries. Okay, justice reverse. So something happened in the past that wasn't what you would feel is fair. Um, let's get clarification for that as well. There was, it could be two people mutually blaming each other for something that had happened. This person that you're thinking about can be at a distance. They're, they're really contemplating. There's a lot of contemplation going on. This feels like it's not recent past, but we'll say six to nine months ago. All right, get clarification, please. Source for justice. Okay. Something changed everything. There was, a, there was definitely a, a breakup in, in this. It's a disappointment. There's a void. It's dwelling on the past and feeling a lack of hope and balance. All right. Clarify that three of wands for the past. Okay. Clarifying, we have five of swords and four of wands. So, swords, sorry. Um, so, basically, what this is looking at is potential of deception. Somebody feels like somebody else is playing mind games, period. Okay, there's contemplation. Should I stay? Should I go? I want to. Somebody felt a lack in the relationship and moved on is really what it looks like. The current energy coming in to the reset, because this feels so long ago, is that mind game feeling. Somebody feels like they're you're messing with their head or vice versa, but taking a break to really think about it. Okay, what is the environment around this currently? What is the environment currently? Okay, all right. There's lack of community. You look at this. You started with the eight. Now you have it reversed. So right now there's lack of communication, but with the overall energy of incoming communication. So this is going to change. How's this person feeling about the Aries right now? Okay. They're feeling that you're being quiet in the situation. They're feeling that you are hurt and trying to let go of a situation. But they know that you are nurturing, caring, and loving. What do they want with Aries? What do they want? Okay. Okay, so it seems that there could have been some deception in the past on their part. And they're wanting, you know, they already know that you're aware of it. 
they want to let go of this and move forward is what I'm feeling. One more card, please, Source. Okay. But they're still holding back. Still holding back on, on, on how they're feeling. They're not talking. There's just no communication right now going on. How do you feel about this person? Okay. Apparently, you want a decision made. You want this to just clear up. Right now, it feels like you seem to be like you're in limbo. And you're definitely thinking about this person. You're reminiscing and thinking about them as much as they're thinking about you. Make sure you can see the cards. What is Aries hoping for? Truth. And you are not happy. She's pissed. <laughs> she wants truth. She wants this absolutely wonderful, ooh, fun feeling of somebody coming in and romantically, you know, new messages and enthusiasm and motivation and spark and going into a new direction, starting something new, starting over. But you're afraid that they're going to come in like a fool. <laughs> this can be the betrayal that you're feeling from the past. Okay, so that is what it's showing that you're pissed about. <laughs> you are not happy about that. Let's see what we have for a potential outcome. What do we have for a potential outcome? Two more, Source. Okay. All right. Well, it seems that somebody's finally going to make a decision on something. It's an end of one cycle and the beginning of another. The lovers can be a Gemini. Um, can be a Libra, but what's coming in is a huge change. It's a balance of the energy that would be honest. It's clarifying something that had been, but wanting this bond, this emotional bond, it can be that there has to be a choice made between two people and that's what you've been waiting for. But this seems like you've been waiting quite a while, <laughs> really quite a while. These of swords is this dramatic change. It's very, it's a sense of security, justice. You're finally, you're forgetting, you're releasing painful past, but it's honesty in a relationship. It's focusing on a new potential. Let's see what we have for advice for you. Advice for Aries. Oh my gosh, your cards are just flying. Okay. So the advice that you were getting You'll love this one. Okay, you need to think about this. Don't talk to any other people. Think about it yourself. You need to let go of the crap from the past if you want to have wish fulfillment. You need to be able to get past what had happened. Move that wheel forward, the wheel of fortune. Move it forward. Think about what you really want because it does look like the overall energy. Something's coming in and it's coming in soon. Nice cards. Okay, let's see if we can get one or two of the Love Oracle. Quite the love story here, Aries. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> ay, yeah, yeah. I even snorted. Okay, let's see what we got here. They flew all over the place, so we'll go through a couple of these here. Be playful. Make the effort children so could your life like love life be uh, affected by kids this could be the one let your friends help you kind of contradicts what i saw here i feel with the hermit can be a virgo um that you really should go within yourself and decide what you want because it does seem like this person wants to come back and you're not gonna I, i'm not gonna sugarcoat it you want them back okay you're thinking about them too. You're trying to let, you are finally letting go of some of that hurt. Whatever happened in the past happened in the past. If you want to have that sun reversed and the balance as well reversed, they're, they're not in a good place right now. They're just not. They know they messed up and they messed up good. All right. This is the energy that we have for you. Keep in mind, the energies can be reversed, changes all the time. That's what we have for you now. I'm going to pause the video and we're going to go through Aries through Pisces to see what specifically that sign could be thinking or feeling. Okay, Aries. Aries through Pisces, starting with Aries, of course, the leader of the band. Okay, if you are dealing with another Aries, heavy Aries, heavy fire, 
Okay. There was an end of a situation. Whoever you are dealing with, it could be that Aries. Again, we had the fool. They want a new start. They're, I almost want to say sappy, but a bit over-emotional about this. There have been a breakup. They are looking to come your direction. There could be something moving forward. If you are dealing with a Taurus, that fool is new dates and new beginnings. That's what they want. Okay. If you are dealing with a Taurus... Stifled communication, not moving anywhere. Page of Pentacles, definitely you are friend zoning them. That is how they are feeling. They feel like anything that they say is not going to be going their direction. Okay, again, same one as we started with, but this is blocked. It's blocked energy forward. All right, Gemini. Gemini, okay. For the Gemini, Hierophant also can be a Taurus, and I am just saying that because sometimes that just comes out that way. We also have fire. This could be a playboy coming in and out, okay? But they don't have the best self-esteem. They just don't. I mean, is it like they they pretend that they want one thing, come in, play footsie footsie, drop their pants, and then take off? And eh, I'd be careful with that one. All right, Cancer. Cancer. It's a lot. Cancer is loud. They want to come in with affectionate propositions. They want to date you. They will put in the work to it. They're checking you out and paying attention to you. They've been stuck in their head about a situation or feeling that you are. And with the Queen of Pentacles, it's feeling like they see you as stuck in a situation where you could be married or in another commitment or still mentally in another commitment, but they want to come your direction. That one almost feels like if you give them the, uh, you know, green light, they'd go. All right. Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay. So the Leo's wishy-washy. They, as well, this can be them trying to come back. But this is like the master manipulator. Don't trust this crap. No, no, no. This is a disruption in the home. They aren't going to stay faithful. Well, let's just put it that way. This is someone that's messing with your mind. They don't know what they want. They could be treating you like an option. If they're treating you like an option, make them want to. Okay, Virgo. Virgo. It is actually kind of fun to watch all of them because you could get a message through one of these that make more sense than the one that actually is for the sign of the person that you have. Okay, they want to let go of things and move forward. They're willing to drop certain things. You know, this is refocusing on something, dropping some of that burden there. They're letting go of this heartache as well. They're not sure of themselves emotionally. Um... There's blockage. They could be numbing right now, you know, trying to avoid some pain that they're in. And there's the pain. That's anxiety they're trying to deal with, but it's not going extremely well. Okay, we're going to switch decks to keep the energy fresh. And we will do Libra. Aries dealing with the Libra. Aries dealing with the Libra. Okay, what do we have? Six of Wands and Three of Wands, which came up before, I believe, in the main spread. So Six of Wands is one to be triumphant. It can be, it's heavy fire as well here. So it can be a Libra with a heavy fire placement. Three of Wands is wanting to make some action forward. This person can be at a distance. Okay, let's get one more card to clarify. One more to clarify. Okay, all right, and the Fool. So the Libra could potentially want a new beginning, okay? The, the Fool comes in again with that new beginning, wanting to succeed, could be at a distance, wanting to move forward in a situation, starting to move forward, making some plans. So the Libra looks half decent. All right, Scorpio, Scorpio. Aries dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, well, they're not happy. One or two, please. One or two more, please. Okay, they're very set in a way. They're quick, they're witty. They they speak the truth. They don't tolerate not having the truth. Can be a decision between... I hate to say this, but it can be a decision that needs to be made between two people. Three of Pentacles is people collaborating. It's almost like there's too many people involved. They also can be working a lot. 
But with the lovers here, I'm really thinking that it's, they want a union, but was, is this can be, this is two stories, period. This person wants to speak the truth. They want the truth from you. They want to collaborate together and they want to have this union also can be a Gemini. Other story is this person's pissed off. <laughs> there was a third party situation. They're not willing to compromise. They will play head games if they have to. And there is a choice between two people. So there are two stories in that Scorpio. Okay, Sagittarius. All right. Queen of Pentacles. Very down to earth, very nurturing. Takes care of the home. Two more place source. Okay. So there had been a, a breakup or a potential loss of some sort. All right. There was stability in a situation. The stability was lost. Now, it doesn't mean that there was a breakup here. It can be just something very drastic happened in the environment. But they do want commitment. They want satisfaction in a relationship. So that looks kind of positive. All right. So we on? Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn. All right. Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, thank you. Okay, so can have a, le a love the the Libra placement as well. Balance, seeking balance, watching you, watching you, not paying attention to all the details of the situation. Let's get one more to clarify all of this here. They're really thinking. They're really thinking. Okay, heavy on the air sign. I, have to, I know this is earth, but I have to say heavy on the air sign. They're not paying attention. They're not seeing all the details. Okay. They are really watching. So this is kind of more introverted, quiet person waiting and watching, but they don't feel like things are over. Okay. Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. Well then. So this person can make things happen. <laughs> They're manifesting something. They're coming. They're sorry. Okay. This can be an apology or leaving something behind. So they could be leaving something else behind. However, the devil, very obsessed, very digging you. And they're waiting very patiently to come your direction. Also can have a Sagittarius or Capricorn placement. Yeah, they're definitely sexually interested in you and want to manifest something with you. This would be a very potent, very powerful person with their words, their actions, the whole thing. Very persuasive, okay? Be careful with that. All right. Pisces. Pisces. Dealing with the Pisces. Okay. All right. We have the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, and under it, we have the Queen of Wands. So this person could be very hasty, coming in, in and out very fast, having a big head about themselves. Page of Pentacles, they're not coming your direction right now, could have friend-zoned you, or they're feeling like you had, and they are not liking it at all. They think you're full of shit, okay? They could be treating you like an option. They could be full of crap. They feel, I really think it's that they feel that you friend-zoned them, and it's not making them very happy. They are pissed. Too bad. Isn't that too bad? Okay, this is the energy that we have for you at this time. Keep in mind if it is not your story, doesn't resonate, check your other placements. Come back next week. Thank you so very much for watching and many blessings.